Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zakaria Maltatwani Siregar. And I'm from class English Education Department 5A. And in this opportunity, I will explanation about multidimensional measurement and factor analysis. Based on Bennett and Bowers 1977, multidimensional scaling, on the other hand, is a way of analyzing judgment of similarity between such variables in order that the dimensionality of this judgment can be assessed. Next, elementary linkage analysis. Elementary linkage analysis based on McQuity 1957 is one way to exploring the relationship between the teacher's personal construct that is of assessing the dimensionality of the judgment that the teacher makes about his or her pupils. It seeks to identify and define the clustering of certain variables with within a set of variables. Like factor analysis, which we shortly illustrate, elementary linkage analysis search for interrelated groups of correlation coefficient. The objective of the research is to identify the types. Next about factor analysis. Factor analysis is a method of grouping together variables which have something in common, it is a process which enables the researcher to take a set of variables and reduce them to a smaller number of underlying factors which account for as many variables as possible. It detects structure and commonalities in the relationship between variables, thus it enables researchers to identify where different variables in fact are addressing the same underlying concept. For example, one variable could measure somebody's hey in centimeters, another variable could measure the same person he in inches. Factor analysis can take two main forms. The first is exploratory factor analysis and confirmatory factor analysis. Confirmatory factor analysis is a multivariate statistical procedure that is used to test how well the measured variables represent the number of constructs. Confirmatory factor analysis and exploratory factor analysis are similar techniques but in exploratory factor analysis, data is simply explored and provides in information about the numbers of factors required to represent the data. In exploratory factors analysis, all measured variables are related to every latent variables, but in confirmatory factor analysis, researchers can specify the number of factors required in the data and which measure variable is related to which latent variable. Confirmatory factor analysis is a tool that is used to confirm or reject the measurement theory. Next is about multi-level modeling. Based on Keefs and Zelin, 1997, multi-level modeling, also known as multi-level regression, is a statistical method that recognizes that it is uncommon to be able to assign students in school randomly to control and experimental groups or indeed to conduct an experiment that requires an intervention with one group while maintaining a control group. And the last is about cluster analysis. Where risk factor Analysis and elementary language analysis enable the researcher to group together factors and variables. Cluster analysis enables the researcher to group together similar and homogeneous subsample of people. 
Using this analysis enable the researcher to identify important groupings of pupil and post hoc analysis. Does this does it not setting up the grouping and subgrouping at the stage of sample design, but after the data have been gathered? I think that's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.